Camel Convoy, are you the busiest man in Australian motorsport driving in the Enduros, racing V8 Utes and driver standards for just about every category going on? Are you the busiest man in the sport? Uh, I think I am actually. Some weekends I think. Uh, I've bitten off a little bit more than I can chew. Townsville was ridiculous. I'd never do that again. I had the Utes, a race for Jitsu and driving standards for Carrera Cup and then did pit lane for seven. I think I had four gigs there. I was very exhausted on the Monday. This weekend at uh, lovely Sandown, it's pretty low key, just the two categories, Formula Ford and the GD3 Cup Challenge. The categories are actually pitted near each other, which is handy, and I'm not driving, so it feels like a weekend off nearly, to be honest. Uh, let's talk about the, the uh, driver standing observation that you do. Uh, this weekend you've got Formula Ford and GT3 uh, Cup Challenge, as you just said. Uh, they're kind of two different categories. One, you've got the young blokes looking to uh, make a name for themselves, and, and these guys are gentlemen races, really. Yeah, look, the, the GD3 Challenge has kind of, uh, I suppose, gone on from doing Carrera Cup this year. Carrera Cup's been tricky managing two different levels of driver. You've got the, the professional guys like Berto, Stevie Richards at the front, and uh, and some of the more gentleman drivers, Rusty French, and, and great to have someone like Nathan Tinkler in the category as well. Uh, the, the Cup Challenge... They're all, I suppose, amateur drivers, but you've also got some pretty quick guys who have been doing it a few years, guys like Roger Largo, uh, Jeff Bobic that are, that are quick. And uh, they were having a few little issues between them, I think, earlier in the season, so I've come on board to try and just put some of the Carrera Cup principles in place into the GD3 Challenge, and then hopefully they'll find it consistent if they step up. Uh, and Formula Ford, I really enjoy working with some of the young guys, to be honest, and I see my role with Formula Ford a little bit more of a mentoring role as far as, uh, or as opposed to judicial, which it is more so in the Carrera Cup. Jeff Bobbick, Cameron McConville's the DSO for GD3 Cup Challenge. He's got a lot of, lot of experience in the sport. What uh, sort of advice has he given you guys? Well, I think he, he settles and calms down the field. Um, really knows what he's talking about, obviously, um, better than any of us do. And um, gives us a little insight into turn one and what could happen, the bottlenecking that occurs here in turn one and sand down, then in two and then in four. And really wants us to have a clean race and uh, just get through uh, the first lap, which is always where the carnage usually starts. And uh, and then to observe that we're doing the right thing and, um, yeah, just behaving ourselves. And I think it's really the best thing in the four years, virtually. It's, it's the best thing to come along. I, I love the thought that somebody's watching over you and giving you a bit of advice, and especially for the people in the you know midfield or back that are just starting out. I think is invaluable for them as well. Nick Foster, Cameron McConville is the DSO for Formula Ford. He's a former champion of the class. What sort of help does he give you guys? Yeah, Cam's been great to the class. You know, he's brought a lot of um, brought a lot of his own experience um, into the class, and you know, he's really fair in all his judgments. And you know, even for you know this being a, a junior category, um, you know, if it's been raining or whatnot, he's constantly uh, constantly around, giving everyone pointers and stuff. And and he's been a great help to the category. You've uh, signed up to do uh, GT3 Cup Challenge as well as Carrera Cup for next year. Uh, that means it gives you a little bit of time to start balancing your season uh, off track and on track. Yeah, it's nice to know off the track what I'm doing. You know, I, I can't see anything changing on the driving standard side of things. I enjoy working with uh, with Jamie and Jody and all the all the Porsche crew. Very professional championship. I think it's probably the most professional support category going around. And uh, Formula Ford, I've I've done now for two seasons. Uh, it'll just be a matter of how much I can fit in next year because I still want to race as well. So uh, it's good to have a couple of different strings to your bow, I suppose, so to speak. And racing next year, would you like to stay in the Utes? Would you like to do a full-time Fujitsu thing? Is there a chance you could fit into one of these uh, vacant main series spots? Oh, look, I don't think the main series is on my radar, to be honest. I'd be flattered if someone asked me, but, um, you know, things have moved on. I'm running a lot of drive days uh, this year and hopefully next year as well for HSV. Uh, it's a good little balance, you know, having a few different different things on the go. Um, I, I still want to race, definitely want to race in a championship, whether it's Utes, Fujitsu, we'll wait and see what, what Bundaberg decide to do next year. But I'm just enjoying, enjoying having different facets to motorsport these days.